allowed to make mistakes without facing potential discipline around topics that have always been conversations in the past. Strong accusations by this teacher's union prompted the Decatur School District to try to resolve a conflict between the teachers and administration. Teachers say they're being blamed for something they never expected would happen. Good evening, I'm Paul Cicchini. And I'm Jessica Coons. The union says more than 40 teachers were given letters saying they violated the new grading guidelines. Teachers say the principals and district administrators aren't being understanding about why this happened. WCIA 3 Jennifer Jensen joins us now. So Jennifer, what led up to this? Jessica, all of the classes have been taught remotely since the start of this year because of the pandemic. So at this week's meeting, school board meeting, more than a dozen teachers spoke about how challenging this year has been and how they believe the district is not supporting them through that. Teachers in the Decatur School District stood at the podium explaining their frustrations to the school board. The climate of our district is such that we can never do enough or meet expectations. This aggravation stems from letters that dozens of teachers received from the principals requiring a meeting to talk about why they didn't follow the midterm progress report guidelines. We discovered that there were progress reports where students did not have progress scores or grades. Assistant Superintendent Jeff Dace says this raised a red flag that needed to be addressed. So if we're seeing a lot of progress reports without grades, then we definitely don't want that with the report card. In the last year, the district started implementing first quarter progress reports. There's not like a gotcha moment and we're trying to reprimand or discipline a lot of teachers. We just want improvement and at the same time we have to be giving a clear picture to our parents that this is how your child is progressing throughout the quarters and throughout the year. But instead of being sent letters, the teachers and the union representative hopes the district will be more communicative and understanding of the challenges they and their students are going through. Number one, to feel supported, two, to be able to do what we do best, teach students give them what they need and i would say three is grace we're in a pandemic we're teaching virtually which none of us have ever done before and nothing is scripted nothing is easy some of those letters have been recalled since tuesday night's meeting the assistant superintendent says no teachers have been reprimanded or had any strikes against them in their files because of this. All right, interesting, Jennifer, thank you. Now, when we asked the assistant superintendent what they plan to do about the teacher's concerns moving forward, he said they will remain open about communication with them with future conflicts.